Yankees and Red Sox in our MLB Network showcase game. Sale off to a quick start. Strikes out Jacoby Ellsbury and Aaron Hicks to kick off the game. Would the Yankees eventually be able to get to the big lefty? In seven career starts, Sale was 4 and 1 against the Yankees with an ERA of 1.17. Chase Headley fly to center his first time up. Sale knocks it down, which takes the double play away, and he has to settle for the out at first. The ball gets away, and Hicks advances to third. It's a pass ball against Sandy Leon. This is going to get a run home. Benedetti with the catch. Kick scores. 1 0 Yankees. You're the Red Sox left fielder. Ted Williams played that position. Carl Yastrzemski, Jim Rice, Manny Ramirez. What does all that mean to you? Um, some big shoes to fill. Um, no, I mean, um, you know, playing out and left, I mean, obviously there's a lot of history out there and um, that wall, and, um, you know, I enjoy it and I just try to work and get better at playing that every day. Holiday has uh, made him work a little bit. Resulted in that sack fly, as you mentioned. Not so fast. Drive to left. And it's over the leaping Benintendi. And Holiday heading for second and is not going to get there in time. Well, he's only a rookie, but he's learning how to play the caroms off the monster nicely. The mindset and demeanor of Chris Sale is not phased by this market. In spring training this March with the Red Sox, he struck out 10 Yankees in a six inning stint. I, I know every pitcher can't do what he's doing, but this is the mindset you got to have. And he just doesn't take any time. He doesn't give the hitter any time to settle in whatsoever. Back to the matter at hand, 10 strikeouts for Sale. And still a 1 0 game. Sale works into the ninth. The Yankees put up back to back singles to start the ninth. Here is Holiday. He swings and lines one to left, and that's a base hit. It'll go to the wall. One run is home. And the Yankees will have runners at second and third as this time Holiday does make it to second with a double and New York leads it 2 0. Three straight base hits make the decision easier for Farrell. A well deserved ovation for Sale. And they're going to have a lead of more than two. That one drops in. Gardner is stopped at third and the Yankees are up 3 0. And Tanaka's one out from the shutout. Here's Starlin Castro. He backhands it. He throws to Carter. A perfect ninth and a close to perfect outing for Tanaka. What a performance by Tanaka by going the distance in the 3-0 victory. Not only does he record just the second shutout of his career, but he also improves to 5-0 in his last eight starts against the Red Sox. After the game, Ken Rosenthal caught up with Matt Holliday to discuss just how good Tanaka was on Thursday. Well, I think his command, it looked like his cutter was right where he wanted it, down and away to righties. Um, his split for lefties, uh, you know, when he has his command of his split and, and his, his sinker and his coming, mean, he's got all kinds of pitches. So. It's been really fun. I, I really like these guys. The young guys are, are great. I mean, really good guys and, and fun to be around and, and a lot of energy and really talented and really hardworking. So uh, I've really uh, taken a liking to a lot of these guys and uh, uh, actually the whole team has been great. Just how rare is it for a Yankees pitcher to shut out the Red Sox? Well, prior to Tanaka's masterful performance on Thursday, you have to go all the way back to Mike Mussina, who did so nearly 15 years ago in 2002.